Boogie till I go blind freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all. This is Grim there. Uh, Moose Girl will be along shortly. This is the Freakers Ball right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com on this Friday night, April 10th, 2020. So how you doing out there, all my fellow shut-ins, lock-ins, those of you under various quarantines, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> uh how you like how you liking the 2020 so far? Is is this the show that you were looking for? Is this the show that you expected? And I'm not talking about Frigger's Ball. I'm talking about the world, the planet, the earth. Yeah, how how, how you liking it? Is everything going as you expected? <laughs> Oh, it's going well. It's going fine. Good. Fine and dandy. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Yeah. Would it be? I, I, I don't know. I was just uh, asking everybody if they, uh, they're getting out of 2020 what they thought they were going to get. <laughs> 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 anyway, let me uh, say hi and howdy to all the folks out there in the various places you may be tuned in from, which right. hopefully is right here on RealLibertyMedia.com, on the Freakers Ball show page, or possibly on the Vaughn.live slash RealLibertyMedia page there. Yeah, uh, uh, possibly you're listening from RLM Radio, RLMRadio.xyz, maybe RealLiberty.org or FreedomsNetwork.com. Uh, which, by the way, Bo tells me that the uh, certificate has been refreshed for another three years. So the SSL cert was giving us a little issue earlier this week, or still today. Um, <laughs> uh, so there's that. Oh, also, we have TuneIn back online now. Uh, I don't think we're going to get Internet Radio back online just because of some uh, technicalities there that I, I, uh, I'm not willing to pursue. Um, so, so much for them. But that's all right. We, we got tune in. That's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. People like tune in. I, I don't know why, but they do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never yeah. ever used it. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I use it just to test it, make sure everything's working. But, yeah, people do use it. So, um, uh, anyway, so that's all of them. Oh, all it's right. this, this chat room over here. Howdy, chat room. Howdy, chat room. How y'all doing over here? Everybody doing all right? <laughs> I see, I see. Everyone's doing as well as they can be at this point. Yeah, I see the wood man. Ben Wall with us tonight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hey, Ben. Of course, Vanna. We love Vanna. Uh, Cowboy Tech. Rob Works. They're passing the bubbler around, man. Good guy. Uh, I, know, yep. I know Kate's here and Rome's trust no one. Donna. Donna Van Meter. Damn mm -hmm. Van Meter. Uh, Hansel. Hansel. Hey, Hans. How's things out there in the. <laughs> Terrible town of Boston. <laughs> Miss, Kyle Fuhrer. Yeah, Miss Kate and Sock Puppet and uh, I don't know who else is tuned in and listening, but all y'all that are in the chat, if I didn't say your name, hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, <sighs> Cypress Hill, are you are you serious? All right. What? Uh, 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 ben requested Cypress Hill. Which, uh, she did something at some point that I remember thinking was not the worst thing it could have ever been, um, but uh, not really my favorite artist out there. Um, <laughs> who are you thinking of? Huh? Who are you thinking of? Cypress Hill. It's a band. It's a, it's a person, right? It's a girl, isn't it? No, that's Lauren Hill. Oh. Well, I think it was You're something about thinking of Cypress Hill is a totally different thing. Uh, I don't know then. I have no You're idea. You're thinking of Lauren uh, Hill. All right. Well, somebody, one of those two, some Hill. Hank Hill. <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it was, it, 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 it was Hank Hill. And he he was, uh, <laughs> well, what's that show he did? <laughs> well, King of the Hill. <laughs> Cypress Hill is like a rapping stoner band, like. 
they're like a stoner band. All right, all right. Well, they must be because he's got hits from the bong there. As yeah. He, as, <laughs> yeah. As, as, as he, but, I think they've played some of them on speakers. Uh, we may have. I don't know. It's been a long time since we've been doing it. Like, right, I so. want to get high. All right. All right. <laughs> we probably played that. Probably. Uh, <laughs> even if we didn't play it, we were saying it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So how are you doing? How are things in I'm Oakland? hanging in there. I'm as good as can be expected. I mean, everyone's being affected in some way by this. Um, oh, Absolutely. Be it you can't go out to your favorite restaurant, or your favorite bar, you can't get your dentures, temp dentures, a new set of your temp dentures because the goddamn place is closed, like in my case. You can't go to Blue Ox. Can't go to fucking Blue Ox in June because it's rescheduled for September. August. August, whatever, fuck, I wrote it down on my calendar. <laughs> Anyway, oh, my God. Yeah, um, so many things, you know. Uh, Revival Festival got used or rescheduled. You can't buy toilet paper, you know. Ah, oh, just so many things. And the ass, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a really a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, I not, mean, not being able to buy, buy toilet paper is a real pain in the ass. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. I mean, literally. <laughs> pain in the ass. So, literally. I mean, yeah. yeah. And, you know... Because if you got to settle for like one ply uh -huh. or angel stuff, uh -huh. you might be your ass might be really hurting. Hey, Chloe, really on that. Yeah. Chloe, Chloe, I mean, Chloe, Chloe's shouting at me from the beyond the okay. beyond the visible realm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So it's how, weird. It's different. Like driving to work today, which it's a Good Friday, so normally on Good Friday there's not that much traffic as normal. Yeah, but it was like. A ghost town. <laughs> I'll bet it was. Seriously, it's like a freaking ghost town out there. I mean, it's like no one's around. Like, no one's out and about driving around going yeah. places. Because, I mean, people go to get food, take out food. That's about all we do. Yeah. Let's go get take out food and go grocery shopping. Ooh, Donna. That's all you can really do right now. Don, Donna's got the hookup on the TP. We better get her inside source. Okay. There. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I hear these uh, traffic reports coming out of Albuquerque on the, on yep. the local radio, and uh, it used to be, you know, they report accidents. All and Albuquerque is a big city, uh, so uh, I, I used to hear um, uh, all, all these uh, traffic reports. It was like accident on I forty, accident on I twenty five over here in Manal, right. and and now it's like nothing. There's no problem on the roads. Smooth sailing. Right. There's, there's no traffic whatsoever, and it's just like, yeah, <laughs> I bet you do. All right, so um, yeah, it, it's crazy, uh, and and there's no end in sight. There's no, no end in sight. There is not. I mean, they they won't even talk about it. They won't even tell you. No. I saw no. Trump. I saw Trump talking on one of those things the other day, and some mm -hmm. reporter asked him. So uh, when do you when do you thinking this might end by by the end of April? I don't want to talk about that. I was just like, really, right, really. <laughs> yeah, they're like sidestepping that question. Yeah, and uh, from answering all, that question. Yeah, it's it's getting um, it's getting crazy. You know, the 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 angel stuff is the worst toilet paper out there, dude. But it's, angel stuff. It's, it's, if it's, you were using angel stuff purposely and purposely buying that on purpose. You don't really like yourself that much. It's better than or none. Or ass, for that matter. It's be better than none. It is better than none, but Angel Soft <laughs> is like the worst out there. I, I buy the Charmin. Yeah. I like the Quilted Northern, too. Yeah. That's, I, that's like the best. The Quilted uh, Northern is really good. I'm just saying. I, I buy the, the Charmin Super Strong. Or what's it called? Super yeah, that's pretty good, too. Well, yeah. I uh, yeah. Got a lumber lumberjack ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. The so, problem with uh, one ply and, and toilet paper like Angel Soft, if you use you use way more of it. It, it. You know what I mean? So you're spending less money, but you're using more. So I don't know where the the, the you know. Yeah. Let, let me. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's tuned in. So somebody may want to retype what I'm telling Rome's here. Um, with okay. with uh, the uh, with Brave, 
uh, just click the little um, yep. the, the okay. little the lion icon up on top there uh, in in the address bar and and turn it off. So, um, <laughs> thanks, most. Uh, yeah. Uh, go to Brave on the yeah, Brave. Yeah, in the in the address bar, click the lion icon, and uh, and and tell it to, to shut shut off the uh, uh, the shields. It'll say shields up for this site. Just turn them off. It's not an ad block icon. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, he'll figure it out. Oh uh, yeah. And he heard you now. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, he's hearing me. Good. Terrific. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. So anyway, okay. So speaking of that, and I know we're gonna play a musical side here soon, but the truth about how lockdown ends: there will be no return to normal. There will not be. America's top experts explain how the nation faces digital surveillance, testing on a huge scale, or recurring social social distances. I can't still say S's very well, but um, anyway, I do my best. Anyway, um you do fine. yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty major thing. Whatever it, you know, whatever you think about the virus, yeah. There's shit there's shit going down, okay? Oh, big time. There is martial law and shit going down here. Oh, okay? absolutely, absolutely. It's going down right now. It's inactive. Right. Like everyone's like still in the in the mode of um when they, when they when they declare martial law, excuse me, as soon as each state started declaring a lockdown, yeah, bingo, they right. just they called it a lockdown. They just didn't call it what you think they were going to call it. Exactly. They were they didn't call it a full out martial law. They didn't want to say that. They had well, we'll call it a lockdown. Yeah. Or even better yet, we'll call it a stay safer at home. Social distancing. Or, Shelter at home <laughs> sounds way better than martial law. Right, but when they so when they start, they can't call it martial law. They'll freak out. Yeah, well, well, but when they're arresting people for being outside and being uh, too close to each other, or all, any, any, any number of things, what do you yeah. think that is? Yeah, yeah, what do you call that? I, I, yeah. I call that martial fucking law. It is. It is. It's been martial law, but they just ramped it up now. Uh, and now, it was far, before this. It was martial law before this. It was martial law when the Patriot Act went into effect. Right. Okay? It was martial law then. Yeah, for that, sure. that was a soft martial law. Yeah, it was a soft one. Now they're doing the hard pull. Remember when they when the, the one fucking dude said pull it? Yeah, right. Yeah, Silverstein. Yeah. This is their hard pull. Okay? Yeah. They're this pulling it. it. <laughs> Yep, they pulled yeah. it. Yeah. So if you think it's that a mili- military a state, Rob, it's a military state. Law before this craziness stuff, this ramping up, I should say. Yeah. It was. You just weren't. You just did. It didn't affect you. You didn't notice it. Maybe you did on some level, but you didn't. You didn't notice it. Some states are on lockdown. What is there? Six or seven of them that are. Uh. Well, they got them. In, they're going into play, Rob. Yeah. Well, either way, I mean, there's already um, in military convoys every day. Where yes. they're moving these troops and this equipment around the country. Yes, yes, Rob. The cops are the military, or they're part yeah, of the, the military. Yeah, the cops are part of the military. They're yeah. all part of the same the same gang. They just wear. And I've been saying that for years. They just they well Solomon. You know, he used to come out of here and explain it all the time. Uh, that this is not it's not a mili- it's not a police state it's a military state and and he went through long lists of reasons of why that's true and it is um yes. and uh Solomon how you doing out there buddy I don't know if you're listening in hopefully but, uh, he's listening somewhere from the nether region the nether region <laughs> wherever he's at somewhere uh, yeah. yeah but anyway um no, and it's, it's, and it's and it's not just the United States, obviously, it's oh, no. it's global. We're going, it going into it's going global. into yep. go, going into the total global new world order. Fuck you syndrome. And, yeah, uh, yeah. This and, is uh, being something's being forced upon us. I mean, something. It, it, there's more to this than just a virus. Okay, the virus is kind of like an excuse. For them to do the rest of their bullshit. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. That's, they're doing the rest of their bullshit based on this virus thing. 
it's kind of, you know, never let a good crisis go to waste. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, I saw a thing today. I mean, they're talking about still the uh, military thing. I saw a thing today. There's 40,000 active military spread out throughout the United States in place right now doing stuff. Um, Now, whether that active military, that active military is probably National Guard at this point. But either way, that's military. So um, National Guard is military, correct. Yeah. So and you know they they well they take they take them and they ship them off to foreign wars to get killed over there. Yeah. Which they're not supposed to do. That's not what it's supposed to be national, like here. They're supposed to stay here, but right. Uh, they don't care. They got a warm body. They're gonna send it over there to take bullets. Um. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, before we go on to other stuff, uh, uh, yeah. This week, uh, we, we we lost one of uh, music's yep. greats, Mr. John Prine, uh, yep. pa- passed away. Um, uh, they say from from Corona. Uh, whether that was true or not, yep. I don't know. But he died, and um, he will be severely greatly missed. Yes, and um, greatly. He was he was an awesome uh, uh, music songwriter, a musician, yep. singer. Um, he did a lot of great stuff, and he worked with eh, all the great names out there. Oh, uh, all of them. And and uh, so uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna miss him. Um, yeah, we're gonna miss him a lot. I I yeah, I saw him live three times. Yeah. In concert, which that's awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. I <laughs> never saw that. He was he was he was in his pride. I don't know. He was how old? He was seventy three when he died this week. Yeah. So this was probably 25 years ago, the first time I saw him. Right. Yeah. Well, I never got to see him live. I don't know how old he is in that picture there, but younger. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. yeah, He's probably in his 30s there. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, we're going to play some of him right now. All right, cool. Good uh, R.I.P. John Prine. I missed you already. Yep, yep. No more great songs from you, but uh, no, we, we got we got all the hundreds of songs that you wrote. Yep, and all kinds of people will be singing them. Yep. And, uh, Way to go, dude! <laughs> Good job. Rocking, rocking paradise, buddy. All right. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. That was great stuff right there. Uh, uh, Bonnie Raitt with John Prine doing Angel from Montgomery. Uh, prior to that, we had uh, John Prine uh, doing Lake Marie from uh, lives from the sessions at West 54th. And we kicked it off with John Prine doing Illegal Smile. All those songs, by the way, are um, requests by Kate and Moose Girl. Not, they weren't all by both of them, but it was a combination. It was a group, a group effort. <laughs> yeah, there on that, um, uh, and I, I know that uh, the angel from Montgomery you had originally requested it some time ago, uh, and then Kate re-requested it. So yeah, uh, yeah. that's my uh, favorite song of all time. Yeah, Angel from Montgomery. It's just I just love that song so much. I mean, a lot of times people say, "Well, what's your favorite song?" Yeah, you know, and I mean, I I love a lot of songs. Don't get me wrong; I have many, many favorite songs. But if I were to pick one song, right, that would be. The- yeah, yeah, I uh, you know, yeah. I, I understand. Um, so yeah, but, uh, I mean, Susan Susan Tedeschi does that great. Oh, she does it! Off. I love her yeah, version of it. Oh yeah. my god! But she had it. So up, many uh, people have done a good version of it. I think Bonnie's the one that originally like he John wrote it. Yeah, he did. But I think too, Bonnie though. performed it, but actually, John did it first. But yeah, he did it first. So, yeah. but but uh, I don't even think he wrote it. He did write it. But I think it's an old. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure John 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 wrote that. But uh, I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure he did. Too, all right. Well, well, it may, I, it may be something like a take from an old spiritual or something. You know may, what I mean? It, it may be in this article. Let me just see here. I have okay. an article here. John Prine's oh, he song. Okay. John Prine's song streamed more than twenty million times since his death. Wow. Uh, so this is on uh, MSN.com. Um, Good. This is the late John Prine's music resonated strongly with fans following his death due to coronavirus complications on April seventh. So that uh, would have been what Tuesday, uh, according to initial reports. 
Uh, in the U.S. on April 7th and 8th, songs performed by John Prine earned 20.8 million on-demand streams, audio and video. Uh, his most streamed song on April 7th and 8th was Angel from Montgomery with 1.1 million clicks. Uh, yep. Prine died on April 7th. The news of his death was announced that evening. So most of the increased streams came April 8th, a full day after the impact was tracked. Uh, stunningly, on April 8th, Prine's songs garnered more streams in one single day than they had in any other week previously. Wow. Uh, on April uh, 8th, he tallied 17.8 million streams for his tunes. Uh, once the, the latest tracking week is tabulated, and then April 9th, he will garner the single largest streaming week. Wow. Uh, it doesn't mention awesome. uh, if he wrote uh, Angel from Montgomery here or not, but uh, yeah, John, uh, rest in peace, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was lucky to see him, uh, especially later. That was like three years ago. He did, he was playing at that Eau Claire Fest, the last one they had. Yeah. And it poured oh. rain. Oh, my God. It was raining so hard. And I couldn't hang, dude. I could not hang. Yeah. So anyway, uh, well, I didn't see the whole show, but it was I. I got to see him at least, you know. Yeah, yeah. Kate, Kate just posted the link, the Wikipedia link about the song "Angel from Montgomery." It oh, okay. Is written by John Prine. Um, okay. Uh, uh, from his album "John Prine," um, <laughs> back in nineteen <laughs> back in nineteen seventy one. So uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. He so, had, um, I I did, I I I was pretty. I just wanted to make sure. I know, like Bonnie did one. Uh, or she has done one with other people that is actually an old, like, spiritual. Yeah. Um, so maybe I got mixed up with that for a little bit there. But I am I was pretty sure he he did write that. But I just good to confirm that so I wasn't giving false information out. Okay. And it talks about Carly, you know. Carly Simon did the song on her album, No Secrets. Okay. Uh, James Taylor did vocals, which I guess with Carly Simon, that makes sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know who Bonnie Kolak is, but she apparently did it on her album. Hold, hold on to me. Uh, John Denver included the song on his Farewell Andromeda. Uh, wow. The version by Bonnie Raitt on her 1974 album Streetlights, uh, that uh, was the first stro- song's first attained wide recognition. I have that CD. I have that album. Yeah. Yep, and, uh, the Bonnie Raitt Streetlights. I have that. It says here in a 2000 interview, Raitt stated, I think Angel from Montgomery probably has meant more to my fans and my body of work than any other song. And that says a lot. She has a huge body of terrific work. Yeah, she um, does. Uh, so let's see. Yes, yeah, uh, she does. Apparently Brian Adams, Jackson Brown, Bruce Hornsby, Kim Wilson. Oh, really? Kim Wilson? So many people. Um, uh so yeah, all kinds of folks. Yeah. Tracy Chapman apparently did that too. I want to hear uh, John Denver's version. Keller, Keller Williams. <laughs> Kel, Kel, Keller Williams did the song. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. So, <laughs> and they, they don't even mention Tedeschi here, but they mentioned Gretchen Wilson and uh, some other people. Uh, yeah, and then I just love that um, oh, video. I, yeah, it's in the list here. All the all the other ones. It's, Old Crow, Old Crow Medicine Show did it. Okay. Uh, so all, all all kinds of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah John Mayer. Uh, oh, there's Susan Tedeschi from 1998. No, oh, just yeah. won't burn out. Okay. So. She does that version. She does such a good job on that oh, song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's terrific. Seriously, she's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's such an iconic song. It's so good. I mean, the lyrics are so good. Like. My favorite line from that song is, how the hell can a person go to work in the morning, come home in the evening, and have nothing to say? Uh, I love that line that, in that song. It's like my favorite line in that song. Yeah. So it it, it makes a lot of sense, though. It's like, oh, sure, sure. what does that say, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I just love that line. I love that song. Um I'm sure that I heard Bonnie's version before I heard John's version. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, probably so, yeah. yeah. No, Biggie, I'm just saying, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Kate. It just, it, it's it's easy when you're with in a bad relationship. It, that It makes a lot of sense then, yes. Right. It, rings, it, it rings true, you know, and 
it's just it's just an iconic lyric <laughs> to me. Anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. So, uh, you know, we we gotta talk about what's going on. We, we do, and, let, and I'm, I gotta. I got some got, other shit, but I got. I got. I got. It's, like, I got it's significant compared to freaking uh, anything. All this shit <laughs> compared, compared <laughs> to anything else. Anyway, so um, here, here's. Okay. I'll start. I'll start here. Okay. Uh, Anthony Fraudchi. Um, set stage for mandatory, lucrative vaccine. Yeah, on the Washington Times. So uh, here it is. Anthony Fraudji, America's most listened to medical professional. Really? On, on really? The, on the coronavirus and apparently on the political, economic, cultural, and social precautions every man, woman, and child in the nation should take on the coronavirus has just warned what cooler head coronavirus watchers have suspected all along. This country, it says May, but I'm just going to eliminate the May. This country, I'll change May to will. This country will never go back to normal. Never. Never, that is, fraud she suggested. Uh, until a vaccine. Fraud she. Fraud she. Yeah, he's a fraud. And uh, that's his name, Fraudji. Uh, anyway, so he suggested a vaccine, until a vaccine is developed, and by logical extension, that's to say, never, until a vaccine is developed, that must then be included on one's required list of shots for all children to attend school. What great news for Big Pharma. What great news for Bill Gates who just announced his foundation is going to spend billions of dollars to help build factories for seven possible coronavirus vaccine makers. And, oh why, and, and, and why not? He owns the patent. Um, spend, right. spend is probably the wrong word here. Invest, yes. invest, word. invest is more like it? Yes. After all, Gates, the first and foremost, is a businessman a billionaire businessman who made his billions in Microsoft and who just left his billion-dollar Microsoft Enterprise to pursue other matters, specifically to serve humanity. Now, I don't know if you remember. Right. I, 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 don't, yeah. I, don't, I, I, I don't recall. I don't know if you recall the old uh, Twilight Zone episode, which was called yes. To Serve Man, <laughs> in which the aliens landed on Earth. And they were helping yes. helping people out, giving them all kinds of yes. different healing things, and then they were going to, they were taking some off to their planet, and and, yeah. and and the guy finally translated their book, and he's going on to, onto the ship, onto the ship. He he yells back at everybody, to serve men, it's a cookbook. <laughs> I remember that one. So, so, so I was anyway, really young when I saw that. Yeah, well, I, I still watch those. Anyway, so, uh, to, so to serve humanity is how Economic Times put it in a March headline. Yes, to serve man. Uh, for a taste of how he's already served humanity, one need only look at the disastrous common core, one size fits all. What the hell? This little thing, ad pop up. Uh, Top down education plan that his foundation bankrolled. He was behind Common Core. From edu of course he was! From education to vaccin vaccinations, the service to humanity never ends. This is what Fauci Fraudchi just warned at a White House briefing with reporters. When we get back to normal, which we never will, uh, we will go back to the point where we can function as a society, but... If you want to get back to the pre-coronavirus, that might never happen in the sense that the threat is there. Yeah, you're the threat, or you're part of the threat. But I believe that with the therapies that will be coming online, and the fact that I feel confident that over a period of time, we will get a good vaccine, talk about your oxymorons, that we uh, will, will never have to go back to where we are right now. He also said if back to normal means acting like there never was a coronavirus problem. I don't think that's going to happen until we have 
we do have a situation where you can completely protect the population. That's mandatory vaccination. This, as the dire, dark, deathly numbers that sent America into coronavirus panic in the first place, were just revised downward, and not just a little bit, a lot. Um, from what did it start off at two million, and then he went to two hundred and forty thousand, and now it's like sixty thousand. So yeah, yeah, it, they were revised downwards, all right. <laughs> from from crazy numbers to less than the annual flu. Um, yeah, it, 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 this is. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, man, I, I, I'm telling you. I talked to someone at work today, and they were like, "This is over the top," and I'm like, "I agree." I don't, you know, if <laughs> germs have been around, they're gonna always be around. Germs and viruses have always been have always been around. I mean, and then they made the point. Well, you know, everybody's everybody everybody's body is different. Right. You know, everybody has different Im- immune function. You know, some people have a better immune function than other people. It's just a fact of life. You know, like. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, 80,000 people or whatever a year die from the flu that, that they, they say. You know, who knows? I Who knows what to believe? I, you don't know what to believe. You just have to. That's why you you have to do the critical thinking. You have to make your own decisions. You have to do the research, look into it, figure out what you think is true, what you think is not true. You know, um, it's a constant battle. Not really a battle, but just like a reading between the lines. You know, yeah, if you yeah, can do yeah. that, then you can see the right end of the wall. Right. Unfortunately, most people cannot do that. Uh, no, they cannot. Because they, we aren't – in public school – you weren't taught to critically think. You know, back in the day, back in the 70s, when I went to grade school, um, they actually had classes like creative writing. Yeah. In like, at the grade school level, though. Sure. But they took all that shit away at the grade school level. You right. didn't, nowadays, you, they don't even have that in co- high school. Right. They might in some high schools still, but just... Any creative, anything with the word creative in it, they don't like because they that means you're on your own. Like, you can be on your own. You can go rogue. Yeah, you're actually thinking you know, for yourself, and that's bad. Right. And that, they don't want that. They do not they want, want that want at all. They program. <laughs> they, they do. Of course, them not so wanting. Go to this college so you can learn the shit we want you to learn, so you can do the, go to a, a corporation after that. You know, yeah. and work for us, or you know, yeah, yeah. They they definitely do not want that at all. Um, okay. No, they don't. So here's your next um, step, I guess, uh, <laughs> in into the into the the tyrannical world that we're coming into. Yes. Your, your next step, Apple and Google to create contact tracing technology to fight coronavirus spread. I saw that, yeah. Con- contact tracing. Yes, which means they trace, like, if, so they're surveilling you. Yes. So they see everybody that you've come in contact with at any given time, at any given day, right. any given time. And, and every person. They like contact, you know, trace okay. back. Let, let, let's like, say, let's say you, let's say you, you were uh, positive or later found positive. Right. Uh, as, as a as somebody with th- this virus, yep. uh, and and then they would track every find everybody that over the past whatever period of time that you had been in contact with via your cell phone, via your G- cell phone GPS, and, and then um, from that, then they would track all the people that all the people you contacted with were in contact with, and then you'd all be on whatever list that was on. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, Apple and Google, there's two names you could trust, uh, oh, said, yeah, sure. uh-huh. <laughs> said on Friday that they will work together to create a contact tracing technology that aims to slow the spread of coronavirus by allowing users to opt in to a system that catalogs other phones that have been near. At this point, 
It's a commercial entity, a couple commercial entities getting together uh -oh. to create this product that you can choose to download and, and opt into so that they can track you and see what's going on. At this point, it's an opt-in. It's a voluntary. Uh, two Silicon Valley companies made the world's dominant smartphone operating system for iPhones and Android devices. They will work together on technology that will allow mobile devices to trade information via Bluetooth connection. Oh, this is so ripe for hacking. Um, to, to alert... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. To alert people when they have been in close proximity with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19 and sometimes, uh, the sometimes deadly respiratory disease associated with corona. Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not even going to call this anything else now. I'm not going to call it a virus. I'm not going to call it COVID-19. I'm just going to call it Corona. That's all it's getting from me, Corona. My Corona. Um, <laughs> the technology will first be available in mid-May as software tools available to contact tracing apps. It should be over by then. Uh, it should be done with by then. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, tracing apps endorsed by public health authorities. However, Apple and Google also plan to build tracking technology directly into their underlying operating systems in the coming months. So if you have an iPhone or an Android, it's going to be right there, built into your operating system. You won't be able to disable it. You won't be able to uh, remove it. It'll be part of the operating system. Too bad, so sad, you suck. Um, <laughs> the company said the technologies will not track the location or identity of users like hell they won't uh, but instead will only capture data about when users phones have been near each other with data being decrypted on the user's phone rather than in the company's servers right uh, GPS lo right. location data is not part of the effort either the company said uh, governments worldwide have been scrambling to develop or evaluate software meant to improve the normally labor-intensive process of contact tracing in which health officials go to recent contacts of an infected person and ask them if they self to self-quarantine or get tested or go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect yeah. 1200 wheat dollars. <laughs> All right. Um, there, there's another, basically the same article on Tech Dirt. I'll give you the link to it. I'm not going to put it in the blog because it's, like I said, basically the same thing. But uh, you, so we've known this for a while. I mean, they've been basically doing this already with all the Alexa shit. I mean, people have brought Google and right into their home. Oh yeah, and it, it, Amazon. Amazon. Smart, you yeah. know, the smart appliances where. You know, crazy. Oh. How much you allow? You basically allow the NSA to come into your home. Right. And I, 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 I uh, heard, oh, oh, it was on the radio. I heard it on the radio. It says, mm -hmm. uh, tell your smart speaker to give you the 411 on the Corona update. And it's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> tell your smart speaker. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. So guess, what, guess what you need? A freaking smart speaker in your house. Uh, well, yeah. you know, I have ki I can't control a lot of some I, things, you know. I know, and I know. We have we have the boys have speakers that they hook their phone up to. Right. I mean, you know what I mean? That's a common thing to have. Well, that's not a smart speaker. It's like a TV is a common that, thing that, to that, have. That, that, that's or not a that, that's not a smart speaker though. That's just a that's just a, a, a right a, exactly a, a speaker that goes to your phone. Yes, um, correct. But but we but it's, but, it, but it's connected to your phone, so I mean. But yeah, but if I have a cell phone, so bingo. Right. So uh, there's that. Uh, there is that. Okay. Now this these next two little pieces of information mm -hmm. are disturbing to me because what they may pour pour uh, what, what what may be coming from them. Um, I'm I'm a carnivore. Basically, you know, I, I eat some non, right. non non meat products, but I'm a carnivore, um, <laughs> primarily. So when I seen this article today, 
Second worker at Greeley, which is in Colorado, meat packing plant dies. Okay? Uh, yeah. So a second worker at the Greeley meat packing plant that is experiencing an outbreak of the novel coronavirus has died. The workers union president said Friday afternoon, and White House officials are in contact with Colorado's governor and a U.S. senator about the situation that has affected hundreds at this meatpacking plant. And that's not the only one. There was one in uh, South Dakota. Right. Well, there's going to be, and I'm sure it's at all of them, and what are they going to do? They're going to shut them down. Right. Kim Cordova, the president of the United Foods and Commercial Workers Union, local 7 Union, confirmed Friday that the second employee had died amid the outbreak of dozens of cases at the JBS plant. Um, and they have 6,000 workers there. Cordova identified the second victim. I don't care. Uh, she said at least 42 union members who work at JBS and eight non-union employees have tested positive for corona, and five, five are currently hospitalized. But she said the union believes there may be significantly more individuals at the plant who are carrying the virus but may either be asymptomatic, not tested, or afraid to come forward as they are not eligible for sick pay. On Friday, Cordova sent a, uh, sent a letter to Jared Polis, uh, Governor Jared Polis, Weld County Department of Public Health Environmental Executive Director, uh, demanding that the plant be closed immediately for at least seven days to be deep cleaned, whatever that means. Oh, they did the same with the Smithfield plant in uh, South Dakota. Okay. Well, um, on, on, the, on, on the tales of reading that one, I came across this one, Department of Health investigating possible group of corona cases at Goodlitzville Tyson plant. Oh, great. The so, chickens, who knows? There right? you chicken. Chicken no yep. pork, no chicken. And, and there's not much to this. It just says the Metro Nashville Health Department is investigating a possible cluster of corona cases at the Tyson plant in Goodlitzville. Goodlitzville. Is that, that's really the name Tennessee, of the town. Isn't it? Uh, Tennessee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a spokesman for the Department of Health told the uh, News 4 that the department has been working with Tyson for the last few days. No additional information was released. The full statement from the Department of Health says, We are investigating a possible cluster of corona cases at the Tyson plant in Goodlitzville and have been working with Tyson for the last few days. Um, talks about HIPAA stuff and things oh, like that. Oh, my God. You I mean, uh, knew this but, was going to happen. But right? here's the deal. Are they going to start cutting off the meat now? Yeah, I, I mean, they're shutting the plants down. A, a, a lot of this stuff ties in directly with the global warming scam. Um, and what, the, and the, the, Iowa too now. And the, and the global warming scammers do not want you eating meat. No, they don't. So uh, a, a lot of this stuff, it, it, it's definitely. Yeah, this is going to, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm thinking. Everyone's happy right now. They're not happy, but they're okay because they can still go get groceries and get food at the store. Yeah. But if they start shutting these plants down, there right. ain't gonna be any fresh meat. Or if there right. is, if there is, it'll be very, very minimal, and it's gonna cost you a freaking arm and a leg. Um, yep. <laughs> Good let's feel. Is that is that is that a different place now in Iowa? I don't know. You, didn't you post that link? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You posted that link from Iowa. No, I thought it was Tennessee, though. Yeah, the other one was Tennessee. Okay, well, now there's one in Iowa, too. Yeah, another Tyson plant. Columbus Junction, Iowa. Yep. Tyson. So, so ex expect... This the, is happening uh, now. Expect there to be no meat coming soon. Pretty soon. I mean, the way people are shopping right now... Yeah. It's going to all sell out. And they're ain't gonna, they aren't producing anymore because the, the production plants are being shut down. Right. So, you know. Um, and so, uh, also, you got to consider. Yes, yeah, right, Bo. Your airsoft guns, what? Uh, yeah, but right. I was just saying, right, Bo. You got the, the new green deals, basically, with all this is. Uh, but uh, uh, so you could, if, if they're shutting down the meat plants, how long before they start shutting down other food processors? Right. Um. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, but no meat, no veggies. Uh, the farms can't survive without the restaurants and places yeah. like Disney. Kate reports. It's, yes, this could be really bad. It so, can get really bad really fast with the food, people. Oh, it already is bad because people are out of work. And then what? And so the people that have direct <laughs> deposit, they're going to get that twelve hundred dollars like next week. <laughs> but there's people that don't have direct deposit, twelve hundred, and they're basically fucked because they have to wait three more weeks. Twelve. So well, have to rely on food stamps because all these other people are not food stamps, the food shelves, because all these other people are. But always this was like a influx of people that need the food shelves up all of a sudden, and they can't keep up. They right. know they're going to probably be able to keep up with this for a little bit. And, and, t- and tell me this, tell me this. What, 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 how does how long does it take you to go through twelve hundred dollars? Oh my God! If after I pay all my bills and everything, I get groceries and stuff. <laughs> pay my internet bill. I owe I owe Excel Energy for my heat bill. I right. owe you know the electric. You know, that's part of the Excel bill. But I mean, yeah, I mean twelve hundred dollars doesn't last long, last long at all. Especially if you're behind, you've missed payments and shit. Right. So also, all these people, you know, I, I mean, uh, you know, twelve hundred dollars will, will help a little bit. Right. A little bit, and then. I was that, be very choosy about what you spend that money on and, and they, be very frugal. Now is the time to be like frugal. Like I, I swear I felt like a switch a switch go off in my head or something. I'm like, okay, this is the deal. This is this is not a test anymore. This is live now. So you gotta be on your game, girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now oh, yeah. is time to be really frugal. And uh Right. I, I mean for somebody like me, Bo uh, I mean, twelve hundred bucks. That's two months worth of of expenses, um, uh, which is you know all my my bills and food and everything. Uh, but but that's me, and I I, I don't have a mortgage. And my house is paid for. I don't. I don't, I'll, have, I don't have. I don't have kids. I don't have anything other than myself, my utilities, which includes right. which includes internet, um, and 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 food. That's that, that's all I got. Uh, but I'm a very rare case, and and I understand that. And and so <laughs> for for most people, uh, twelve hundred bucks, it ain't gonna go far. If you got car payments, no. if you if you got mortgage, if you got, uh, and it doesn't get, doesn't do me jack on my insurance. Cause I gotta still figure out ways to do that, which that's okay. I'm I'm selling some stuff on eBay now, um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll I'll generate some income from that, um, uh, which was coming one way or the other anyhow for me. Uh, right, right. Uh, but but this this stuff has messed it up because the uh, the way the markets have gone um, for whatever reason uh, opposite of logic uh, the, the the prices of, of precious precious metals have dropped significantly while they should have been rising significantly with all this money printing um, it, it it makes no sense at all except for the fact that what they're selling what the people are selling is paper precious metals not real precious metals uh, so you get you get a bit more on the physical um if you can find a buyer <laughs> at that price right yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, whatever it works out but anyway it's um america what do they what do they call it the richest nation in the world right <laughs> okay this is an awesome meme this is what i was talking about earlier like at work my situation at work with the cleaning uh-huh, stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. commercials in 2030 will be like were you were you or someone you know overly exposed to hand sanitizer lysol or bleach during the 2020 coronavirus pandemic if so you may be eligible for compensation yeah yeah i saw that that's funny but uh <laughs> Anyway, well, and, yeah, you know, I mean, the solution can't be worse than the problem, people. We can't lose our freaking minds here, okay? Yeah, no, Ben. Uh, germs gold... have been around before the virus. Ger- people got sick from contact with germs before this, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hand washing has always been a good thing to do. Absolutely. <laughs> it's not a new thing to do. This is a smart thing that people should have been doing all along. Correctly, you know, like I've been harping on my kids their whole life. Wash your hands. I still ask them, did you wash your hands? Like, you know, I have to remind them sometimes. Absolutely. Before they're be making dinner or something or, you know, or eating dinner. Wash your hands first. Like, like how can you, you know, it's a a smart thing to do before this shit. So let's not lose our minds here, people. Yep. Yep. Anyway, uh, 
all you folks out there having a hard time in the richest nation of the world, in the world, as they say, which, truth or not. The greatest nation in the world. Trump says it every fucking day. No, no, the richest, richest. Richest. The Uh, most powerful and greatest and most beautiful country in the world. Omar. Like, if I hear beautiful out of his mouth one more time, I swear I want to fucking slap his face. Oh, me too. Shut the fuck up, dude. (laughs) It's your beautiful shit. Anyway, Omar. Everyone's having a beautiful Easter. It's like, dude, I'm not a Christian. Yeah. Don't assume that I. And then when he said everyone in America is praying for, or we're all all Americans are praying for Boris Johnson. It's like the fuck I am. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm doing something yeah. when I'm not fucking doing it, dude. Yeah. That, that applies to you and everybody else. Yeah. You know. All right. Come on. All right. Well, Omar has a message for us all. Okay. Omar Kent Dykes in the Howlers. This is not the what. What? Sorry. I got a vent a little bit. So for all y'all, all y'all having a hard time out there, maybe this song will make you feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Or maybe not. All right, very nice, very nice. Samantha Fish, "Kill or Be Kind," off of an album of the same name. Yes, indeed, great stuff. Before that, Metallica doing "My Friend of Misery," and we kick it off there with Omar and the Howlers from. Uh, I forget what album that's on. Anyway, it's the Hard Times in the Land of Plenty, which uh, I know many of y'all are experiencing some hard times in the Land of Plenty. Who requested uh, the Metallica? I did. Oh, okay. You didn't hear that part in the the background. Uh, added effects. I, I did not. Uh, I we know. listen to it tomorrow or something. All You'll right. hear it. Okay. You'll hear it. Trust me. I was like, is that Grim? Does he have a hot mic? I'm like, so I, the first, the first, when I first initially heard it, I thought you were like clearing your throat or something. <laughs> but so that has happened, you know, yeah. you forget to mute, you know, or I do or whatever, you know. Sure. I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's an added effect to the, to the, uh, video. Uh-huh. Someone was trying to be funny or something, or gross, I don't know, one or two, I don't know, but. Oh. It's, uh, anyway, guy, whatever. It was, it was, uh, you know, the the guy was. Uh, uh, he, he's a friend of misery, so. Uh, um, yeah, it was some video edited crap. It was something edited onto there. All right. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, howdy, JJ. Yeah, JJ left me a video uh, link this morning there to uh, uh, the guy talking about all the all the scam stuff going on here, uh, dealing with this coronavirus thing. Uh, yeah. I forget the guy's name who did that, but uh, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, let me bring it up here, so I'll tell you what it was. Well, anyway, I found the story shortly before, earlier today. Um, it's from March 13th, 2020. Yeah. But the headline is, and it's from CBS News. Okay, well, here, here's the video before I before I get on there. Oh, okay, uh, sure. Before you get on, it's called oh, yeah. it's it's called they're just mocking our slavery while they tighten the screws. Uh, yeah. It's from it's uh, high impact vlogs is the username uh, over there on uh, it? on the YouTube. Um, so oh, it, okay. everybody should check that. Oh, okay. Everybody should watch that video if you if you haven't already. Yeah. Um. Cool. So, uh, all right, sorry about interrupting there. No, what, no, that's okay. What, what, do, you, what do you got? Um, driverless trucks being tested right now on public roads. Yeah. Anyway, 60 Minutes climbs aboard for a look at the very new, near future of transportation and technology that could eliminate as many as 300,000 jobs. So, uh, apparently it was on one of the episodes of 60 Minutes. <clears throat> okay. But uh, apparently they got behind the, they got rode along on one or something. I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing. I didn't have time. Like, I just found this today. Apparently it did air on Sunday, March 15th on the 60 Minutes show. What, what when was this? Oh, I, I can look that up. March 13th. Oh, okay. Uh, 2020. Yeah. All right. I can look that up to try to find that clip, too. Uh, but I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I've seen 
a bits and pieces of both David's videos, his recent ones. Haven't went been through the whole. Yeah, there's a couple of them that are recent now. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a one David Ike video. It's like two and a half hours. Yeah, it's uh, long. Yeah, um, it's super exciting. long. I know. I know. So you can't really. I mean, I can't really watch it in one setting. You know. Oh right. Well, you know, you get stuff to do. So. Yeah, I mean, fuck. Um, yeah, the last two, I, but, I've but, watched a little bit of both of them, but I still have to watch the whole things all the way through. Yeah, but but since uh, but but since we're talking about that video anyway, I don't know if I have my list here or not. Um, okay. Uh, I, I put so many things in my list. Uh, anyway, uh, here's this about that. <laughs> uh, they're not happy. They they you know who they are. Yeah. Them, them are not happy. No. Coronavirus. Ofcom formerly probes David Icke TV interview. And this is from yesterday, this this article on uh, BBC yeah. dot, BBC.com. So the, the UK's media watchdog has launched a formal investigation into a TV network broadcast of an interview with conspiracy theorist David Icke. About the coronavirus, Ofcom acted after London Live screened the program on Wednesday evening. The regulator received more than 40 complaints following the broadcast. It follows uh, YouTube introduction of stricter misinformation after a later interview with Mr. Ike about the uh, same team was streamed on its platform. We have assessed this program, and we are concerned that it raises potential issues under our rules, said a spokesman for Ofcom, as it's like a, the FCC of London. Um, anyway, we are, we are now investigating it as a matter of urgency. Uh, it, it intends to speak to London Live as part of the probe and said it was making the investigation a priority. Ofcom is unable to intervene before a program has been broadcast. But afterwards, it has the power to demand on-air corrections and issue fines. It can even withdraw a TV station's license to broadcast, but seldom does. Earlier, the Culture Secretary, Culture Secretary, really, uh, had expressed concern about the matter on BBC's Radio 4's, that's a government uh, show, Today program. Uh, clearly, the situation is regulated by Ofcom, and I would ex be expecting Ofcom to take appropriate action, whatever that means. Clearly, they are independent, but I will be in touch with them to understand what action they are taking to respect that. A spokesman woman for London Live said, We are aware of the Culture Secretary's comments and have proactively contacted Ofcom to offer our cooperation and support of their assessment, meaning they really want to slam Ike and they want to slam him hard for having his own opinion of things. You have an opinion that differs from the government? That's just fucking not allowed. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They are not happy about Ike going out there and people actually seeing what he has to say and listening to him, and um, them not him not just parroting out the government official line. They are pissed about it. Um, so on Tuesday, YouTube deleted copies of a later interview with Mr. Ike by the same host, which was embedded into the production company's site. Uh, it hosted on YouTube's platform. So they, oh, YouTube, whoa, we can't have that. Uh, the production company then re-uploaded the interview to another U.S.-based secure service, uh, Vimeo. They deleted it, too. <laughs> Vimeo is committed to eliminating content from our platform that spreads harmful health misinformation when there was no misinformation included whatsoever. Our policies explicitly reflect these values after careful review from our trust and safety team. Uh, amazing. Uh, we can confirm the video in question has been removed. Uh, it's since been uploaded again to BitChute, a smaller UK-based platform, which is still there on BitChute, by the way. Um, yay, BitChute! Uh, Mr. Ick, Ick, <laughs> Ick, Mr. Ike does not mention 5G by name in the interview, 
uh, broadcast by London Live, although at one point he does refer to the electromagnetic technology generated soup of radiation tech te toxicity. I mean, let me read that again. Electromagnetic technologically generated soup of radiation toxicity, which he claims has damaged old people's immune systems. Quite rightly so. Uh, scientists have previously... Uh, scientists have previously rubbished suggestions, whatever that means, rubbished, is that a good word? Suggestions, uh, mobile networks cause such harm. Yes, yeah, scientists, right. Uh, so London Live apparently is owned by a Russian businessman uh, who also owns the Evening Standard and the independent newspapers. Uh, anyway, they're just not happy. They, they, don't, they don't like truth coming out. Uh, they, they only want you to... Um, <laughs> you'd be able to say whatever it is they approve you of saying. Free speech, no, 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 no. Not allowed. <laughs> well, that's always pretty much been the case. Well, that's it's, how we've been it, doing it, the show. It, it's far, it's far more. So, oh, yeah, big so time now. now. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's still up there on BitChute. Um, so, I mean, if you really uh, want, just go out, go on to BitChute and look for David Icke and, yeah, um, and, and and you'll you'll find it up over there. Um, yep. So, uh, one of your other favorite guys. <sighs> oh, is this it? Oh no, that's the one on David. I oh, that might be it. Let me see here. Okay, let me, let me see it. Um, yeah, yeah, this is this is the article here. Uh, so let me just get this here. Um, yeah, Dave, Dave, the, <laughs> it's on davidike.com, um, the, the, the video, uh, or the link, the, the, the embedded video, uh, yeah, blah, 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 bit shoot video. Um, so, so what he's been doing for a while is trying to wake people up. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So there, there, there's the headline. The people are, the people, the people are speaking and overcoming YouTube Vimeo. David Icke virus video ban by sharing link. Now 4 million have watched it and counting. We shall overcome and you can download it. No copyright problems. Just don't try uploading it. Just don't try uploading that to your, uh, right. uh, uh to, to your YouTube account because they will kick your ass off of there. Yep. Uh, they, they are not happy about that information getting out there. They, they are pissed. Seriously pissed. Um, and yeah, so I suggest everybody watch that. Take the time, watch that video. Um, oh, good. Uh, yeah. Rome said he he shared it on Facebook of all places, and they did wow. not they did not ban him. Wow. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, one of your favorite guys out there, Mister Henry Kissinger. Oh God. From RT dot com. <laughs> says even the even the United States can't defeat co can't defeat corona alone his solution global nwo government of course <laughs> oh yeah of course of course henry kissinger eminent grease of imperial us foreign policy has warned in an op-ed that no government, not even his beloved hegemon, can defeat Corona alone, implying that the new world order he's always predicted and preached about must follow. If the United States doesn't couple its efforts to rebuild its own economy with the first steps of, toward creating a global government, humanity is doomed! Kissinger wrote in a recent Wall Street uh, Journal op-ed, Humanity <laughs> is doomed. It, it, without the NWO, humanity... Oh, yeah, of course, hu right. Fuck huma him. Humanity is doomed. Fuck him. No country, not even the U.S., can in a purely national effort overcome corona. Kissinger warned, addressing the necessities of the moment must ultimately be coupled with a global collaborative vision and program. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kissinger laments that the pandemic has led 
to the return of a walled city model of nationalist government, suggesting that exploration at the frontiers of science alone can save humanity from disease in his vision of a globalist utopia. Utopia. You ever you ever read the book Utopia? You're not human. You ever, you ever read that book Utopia? No. <laughs> it doesn't work out so well. <laughs> I'm sure not. <laughs> but developing cures takes time. And the notion that countries should be discouraged from protecting themselves in the interim is suicidal. If everything, uh, anything, one of the reasons Italy, Spain, and France were hit so hard by corona was the EU's dysfunctional insistence on open borders amid the pandemic. Uh, oh, my God. I, I, I don't need to read, read any more to you. About it, other than just tell you, this guy, like Obama, is a Nobel Peace Prize uh, Award winner. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize. What a freaking joke that thing is. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, when is he going to die, Bo? Now, I, I have to ask the question, because mm-hmm. I, I know. Every now and then you'll see a, a link or a tweet or something posted somewhere that mm-hmm. somebody you really hate, for whatever reason, has come down with corona. Yeah. How many of them have you said, I hope that person dies? <laughs> <laughs> see, that's that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's messed But I guarantee you everybody... Well, not everybody. I can't guarantee that. I I just imagine that most people, especially the political types, uh, you know that everybody on the on the you know the anti-Trump side is just hoping, hoping like hell he comes down with Corona and dies. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just messed up. I mean, I know you don't like the guy. I don't like the guy. Who the hell likes no. the guy? He's just he's just a clown though. He's nothing. He's useless. He doesn't mean anything. He's not. He's not in power. He's not in charge. He's he's, he's just a, he's a shamwell salesman, and uh, you know whatever you can hate yeah. him all you want, but to wish him dead, uh, that's that 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 that's that's beyond the pale. There, that's that's wrong. Um, I you know I wish he they all all government people everywhere would just go away. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily want them all to die. Um, <laughs> I don't not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> so uh yeah anyway this one's for frumpy here frumpy you out there you listen better <laughs> this, is po- this is this is posted up on newswars.com yeah just go away cough cough <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right Canada, police to make home visits, home visits to oh my god ch- to check quarantine compliance. Oh my god! Violators face up to one million dollar fine what? and three what? and three years in jail. What? <laughs> yes, police in Canada, wow. police in Canada will visit the homes of people under. Corona quarantine what? to check that they are in compliance with those who flout the law, facing up what? to a million, a fine of up to a million dollars and three years in jail. Under the law, Canadians who have returned from abroad or, at, or are at risk of having been infected with corona are mandated to remain at home for 14 days. Police say they will visit the homes of those under quarantine and advise them of the potential consequences of non-compliance. You must comply. Adding that violators could face significant penalties, including fines and imprisonment. The maximum fine for failing to comply with the quarantine is up to $750,000. Oh, my fucking God. Really? Come on. And up... (laughs) Who have oh, come on? And up to six months in prison. That but, is insane. But those who put others at risk, whatever that means, uh, could face harsher penalties, the million and three years in jail. 
the RCMP said that the checks would be facilitated through authority. First, contacting persons by phone, text, or email, and then having officers perform physical verification with the individual while maintaining physical distancing. Well, how are they going to arrest them if, they got, for, if they're doing physical distancing? Huh? 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 No, okay. How are they going to arrest them if they're doing physical distancing? What? <laughs> How are they going to arrest them if they're doing physical distancing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 really? I'm just, uh, holy shit, Batman. <laughs> they decided, okay, they did a test run in October of 2019. And now they went live with it. So, I mean, it's just, it's crazy because all of a sudden, right well, after well, that's the, the down, yeah, all, all that, talking, all, all there's, that. There's commercials talking about, oh, stay at home. It's like, you guys came up with a commercial in a fucking day. Yeah, you should you should watch that video that I, I linked you from uh, JJ there because yeah. uh, they, it, it, he covers all that information. Um, yeah, uh, in, in that video, he had if the hires up or whatever knew about this shit. Oh they fuck knew yeah! This shit was coming down the pipe because they have these Pepsi and shit. Taco Bell has commercials ready for this event. It's like if this wasn't a pre-planned thing, how the fuck is there a commercial two days after you know this this shit hits? Right. You know, come on, people. You guys gotta, you guys gotta see it through. See the forest through the goddamn trees here. Yeah. If you think this is just some virus that happened and that, you know, out of the blue, you're wrong. Absolutely. You're wrong. Absolutely. But the tyranny is rolling in. It's rolling in fast and it's rolling in hard. Time. Do you do you know anybody living in Michigan? Do you, do you do you know what? anybody? Do you know anyone living in Michigan? Uh, yes. Well, I don't know why they phrase it this way, but maybe they just don't like women. I don't know. On PJmedia.com, that woman governor oh, yeah. just banned Michigan residents from visiting family and neighbors. What? <laughs> Mich- oh, my God. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer issued an executive order that severely restricts travel between residences. She also basically forbids residents from travel to their own summer homes. The new rules are the latest updates to the stay-at-home order and are among the most restrictive in the nation. Exceptions to the new rule include caring for a relative, an elderly friend, or pet. Uh, and, uh, if, you have a, if you're have a, caring, you know, health caring, oh, yeah. or whatever kind of care you do for relatives, elderly friends, or a pet, visiting a nursing home, which I thought those were all pretty much taboo at this point, or similar facility, attending a funeral with no more than 10 people? How is that okay? And complying with a court order related to child custody. All public, all public and private gatherings of any size are prohibited. Oh, my God. That means you and one other friend is a public gathering if you meet in the park somewhere. That's prohibited. Wow. Uh, people can still leave their house for outdoor activities, and outdoor uh, recreational activities are still permitted as long as they're taking place outside of six feet from anyone else. I don't know what's magic about six feet. It's a nonsense oh. number. It means it nothing. Um, I mean, it should be 30 feet, if anything. Uh, anyway, people will still be able to travel to other residents outside of the state, but not to cottages or vacation rentals inside the state, the order says. The rule against traveling to a va- favorite vacation spot will devastate the economy again. In the north, uh, Michigan is a wonderful or a wonderland of lakes and rivers set in some of the most oh, they, beautiful they told landscapes. Lots of other cabins here, too. Yeah. Well, why? It's a cabin up in the mountains. Why, why would you not want to be up at a cabin up in the mountains? What, what's wrong exactly. with that? It's crazy. They don't want you enjoying your 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 lockdown, Grim. This is a vacation. <laughs> this is serious. This is no time for recreation and vacationing. There's a pandemic going on. Yeah. 
You can't. No, we we can't spread this stuff. We, it, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I go. JJ points out in Scotland, the resident said it's six and a half feet. Oh, okay. How the how the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Six feet eight inches. Uh, six feet three inches. Uh, what? What? <laughs> I mean, do they think people are going right to the six foot marker? Uh, they got like you know uh, laser sights that can tell right. them where. where... It's, <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid because if it's windy or something and you sneeze outside or something, or let's say you sneeze in, a, sneeze in an office complex and you're right underneath the heat duct. R- Rome and says. The, heat, the furnace is on. Uh, Rome, your, your sneeze is traveling all throughout that whole office. Uh, Rome says it's a half a meter in Russia. That's the length of your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. All right, whatever. Okay. Anyway. So I know that there's some people out there that still think this is all um, up and up, on the up and up and all real and, and yeah. it all makes sense, but it's not. No. And, and and the lords of the new church have a message for you. The lords right. of the new church. Okay. You have to read the lyrics on the screen if you can't understand them. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you should be able to understand them. All right. Okay. Yeah, just look out your window. <laughs> That's the uh, coronavirus rhapsody to uh, Queen's uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody there. Um, who, who posted that? Uh, Grounded Show is just what it says. So, uh, Vocals by Adam Grimes. Lyrics by Dana J. Bean. Music by Queen. All right. Uh, anyway, before that, we had Gary Hoey doing Wipeouts. Wow, wipe out. Uh, hey, we kicked it off. The Lords of the New Church and open your eyes. Open your eyes. See the lies right in front of you. It's so obvious. It's so apparent. It's so unmistakable. Yeah. Yeah. So, Moose Girl, you there? You with me? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Moose. I was here. I was here. <laughs> right. I was chatting and typing. I know. I know. I know. Sorry about that. Hey, it happens. Uh, anyway, um, it's just crazy times. And every, everything's just so, like, right in our faces right now. It's like, wow. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, I am handling it better than a lot of people, I think, because... I've expected this to a point. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about this for on this show for 11 years. So, um, I'm more mentally ready for it. You know, there's some people like my 19-year-old sons that are totally, like, in denial. Right. Um, for lack of a better description. <laughs> um, like, we went to Walmart, me, Matt and I. On Sunday night, Sunday evening, about 5.30 or something. Uh-huh. And it wasn't too bad. They were pretty well stocked. Right. Um, but Matt drives me crazy because he's like, I'm like, Matt, do you want some hand <laughs> After we got done and everything, do you want some hand sanitizer? You know? No. Nope. Yeah. I'm like, I'll just wash my hands when I get home. He's like, I'm not changing my life for this. <laughs> you know, I'm like, whatever, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I could have went all hardcore on them. Sure. I could have been like, like, um, well, if you have it on you, you could be bringing it into the house and you know, Ugh. or leaving it in the car or whatever. You know, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Well, how, how just, uh, I'm tw- just? I'm just not convinced that. I mean, I've been doing. I'm not- these practices all along. I've always washed my hands well. I've always had the hand sanitizer in my car. Like after I pump gas, I use the hand sanitizer or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like me too. Me too. I, I mean, I don't. I don't use the hand sanitizer, but I wash my hands all the time. And 
Yeah, I'll, I'll it's just, annoying. It's annoying to well, have a doctor. You know, it's especially like if you're cooking or whatever, you got to wash your hands like right. No, all the like time. I am a stickler with that. Like yeah. I was saying earlier, like. Even now today, like sometimes the boys will start, they'll, they'll come to the table, start, or they'll come to start dishing up their food without washing their hands first. It's like, wash yeah. your hands. Yeah, you know, wherever your hand, I mean, you can bring in all yeah. that crap into your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it, you know, gross. You and, know. Anyway, Hal, Hal just tweeted out about the about the show here. Lords of the Coronavirus Church. <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's How you doing out there, Hal? <laughs> people are really getting... I think that people are going to start getting really pissed off here soon. Oh, absolutely. Because we've been willing to do this for a while. We've been, But now people are like, hey, dude. Hey, how long has it been? We've been working for a month, and there's no money coming in, and we need to feed our kids, and motherfucker, you know, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Absolutely. Wait for three weeks to get some paper check that, you know, I need food tomorrow and I need money to buy it tomorrow. Am I supposed to just line up at this food food bank thing where there's 600 people, 600 cars in line? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, what, do, what, what are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? I, I don't know. And now the meat production plants are shutting down. It's just a matter of time before other production plants shut down. I I mean as it as it is right now, clothing manufacturers are changing over to making masks and protective equipment now. Right. So not a lot of clothing is being produced either right now. Yeah. Even Major League Baseball. Fanatics that makes a lot of the jerseys and the stuff for baseball. Yeah. They switched over to fucking masks and, and gowns. Using the base, the fabric they had on hand. Right. Baseball, the fabric they use for, to make baseball uniforms. Yeah. And even like Bowder, the hockey equipment maker. Right. Baseball stuff. They switched over to making masks too. Yeah. A lot of. I mean, 3M got the fucking got raked over the coals by fucking Trump. <laughs> he was all up in their shit this week. Yeah, well. Uh, something about, well, you got to make them for the U.S. before you ship them out to other countries. All right, screw all the rest of those people. So they fucking just yes. ramped up their production and fucking, like, oh, shit, you know. Uh, screw the rest of the world. Right. Yeah. You know, and Trump's up there toting his horn every day doing yeah. his press conferences. Yep. R- uh, rigging on reporters and cutting reporters down. That seems to be his favorite hobby to do during these press oh, conferences. Oh, sure. Make fun. Of, oh, uh, that was a dumb question. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, that was a stupid question. Oh, if, uh, if someone like to him is a good question, no, that was a very good question. But but of course, most of those reporters are really douchebags. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are, and they have a you know they're going they're, they're, they're going in there with an agenda. They're not just trying to find out information. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I, I mean fuck them too. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs those stupid bastards? <laughs> I mean, it, you know, no clothing stores are open, like Kohl's and stuff like that. The only, the only real stores that are open mm-hmm. where you can get more than just groceries is like hardware stores and Kohl's and Target. I mean, not Kohl's, but Target, Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Because Target, Walmart sell groceries at a lot of their stores. So they're able, but then I saw that some of the stores, even though they do sell groceries, yeah, they're not allowing you to buy anything else. Yeah, no non-essential but items for sale. Essential. No non-essential bandage, items. Right, bandage would de- be deemed. But I saw a thing on Facebook where they had like the glove section blocked off. It's like, oh. excuse me, gloves are essential. <laughs> I mean, not like plastic gloves, like yeah. you know, work gloves, like leather gloves. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can still get all that stuff at Amazon. Whatever. You can still get it all at Amazon. But it's slow. You're not going to get it as fast, dude. No, you're not, and you can't try it on or anything like that. Oh, so. oh, you're screwed. Yeah. Anyway, I should have talked about this next thing when I was talking about Microsoft. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. Apple and Google. But here it is from the CDC director. Very, yeah. very aggressive contact tracing 
needed for U.S. return to normal. So that that's going to be the thing. I don't know if you remember several weeks ago I I brought up the social distancing thing before it was really getting out there. It was it was out there a little bit because that's where I got it from. But I brought up the social distancing distancing and that was going to be your new phrase for whatever period of time. Contact tracing. This is the new one. This is where you're going. So, um, and, and this is, I, I agree with this guy's, who's it on? WFAE.org. I have no idea who these people are. A radio station or something out of Charlotte. Um, uh, okay. So here it is. It's the question on everyone's minds. What will it take for us to come out of this period of extreme social distancing and return to some semblance of normal life? Turns out the CDC has been working on a plan to allow, <laughs> lovely wording, the United States to safely begin to scale back those policies. CDC Director Robert Redfield spoke with NPR on Thursday saying that the plan relies not only on ramped up testing, but very aggressive contact tracing of those who do test positive for coronavirus and a major scale up of personnel to do the necessary work. So they want a lot more money for themselves. In the meanwhile, uh, tracking and tracing everything that everybody does. Contact tracing is the process of finding and reaching out to contacts of someone who tests positive for an infectious pathogen. Those contacts are then quarantined or monitored, whether they like it or not, if any of them are also positive. The process is repeated with their contacts and on and on until the chain of transmission is halted. It's a labor-intensive, time-consuming practice that for decades has been a fundamental public health tool for containing infectious disease. Contact tracing was used in Seattle and parts of California early on in their coronavirus outbreaks, corona outbreaks, but as community spread, community spread, oh, don't you love that phrase, uh, took hold, many cities and states switched to a mitigation approach like closing schools and other social distancing measures. Uh, now, most or all of the country is on lockdown, with uh, minor exceptions. To be ready for those measures to ease up, Redfield said his agency is ramping up America's capacity to do more contact tracing. Oh, and Apple and Google are right there to help you out. We are going to need a substantial expansion of public health field workers, he said, this, along with ample testing, is what will be needed to make sure that when we open up, we open up for good. Really? Uh, anyway, it goes on talking about this nasty-ass nonsense that they want to do. Yeah. As if it's a bonus. It's a good thing for you. They're helping you. They yeah, love right. you. They love you. <laughs> and they're just there to make sure that you stay safe and healthy. That's all they want. They're not looking to... Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, God. Would the Pentagon ever lie? Yeah. Oh. Of course they would. They're part of the government. Well, darn it. Oh. <laughs> from, from, you had to ask? <laughs> I did. I did have to. Uh, <laughs> from InfoWars, oops, what did I do there? I pressed the wrong key. Uh, from InfoWars.com, Pentagon denies ABC News report military intelligence knew about coronavirus in November. They knew about it before that, actually. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll go with November. That's fine. <laughs> since they didn't really start talking about it here until February, or, you know, publicly. Uh, the Pentagon late on Wednesday said an ABC News report that said Military Intelligence Unit wrote a report on the coronavirus in November, but it's not accurate. Oh, no. <laughs> Colonel Shane Day, the director of the National Center for Medical Intelligence. The what now? 
National Center for Medical <laughs> Intelligence. Oh, my God. Is this a new thing? <laughs> At the Defense Intelligence Agency, the DIA, said in a statement that as a matter of practice, the NCMI does not comment publicly on specific specific intelligence matters. Oh, yeah, specific. However, in the interest of transparency, during his current public health crisis, we can confirm that the media reporting about the existence and release of a national center for medical intelligence corona-related corona product assessment in November 29 is not correct. No such re product uh, exists. Maybe you didn't want to publish one, but it got out there, and people know about it, and people know all about that this has been going on, and you, the Defense Department was part of the whole thing over there in China back in October. <laughs> uh, the defense official added that on a background that the NCMI and the DIA spent considerable time over the last 24 hours examining every possible product that could have been identified as related, they were they were looking for who leaked it is what they were doing. Um, <laughs> new evidence suggests that so far the corona outbreak is not nearly as bad as we were told. Not even close. Not e not even partially. A B the exclusive ABC News report published Wednesday morning said the NCMI warned the military and the White House about the spread of the virus in China as far back as late November. Like I said, they knew about it in October because they were part of the operation. Yeah, <laughs> so, of course they were. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you may say you didn't write a report about it. And, right. Uh, you're lying. You're lying. You're fucking lying. Um, yeah, As yeah. they usually do. Yeah, yeah. Part of the Space Force, yeah. Uh, yeah. Part of in your Space Force. Yeah. Yeah. But here's yeah, one that... that <laughs> yeah, here's one. Finally, maybe a, a a positive, a positive thing from our friend, mm -hmm. Dr. Ron Paul. Yeah. Resistance is building to Corona House arrest orders. It's about time. No hitting. This here on Activist Post. Yep. It says, Americans have suffered under the boot of tyranny long enough. Yes, we have. Thank you for that. Resistance to the House arrest orders and the pushback against the bans from making a living are finally surfacing in large numbers. Have people finally realized they are not slaves to be controlled by a few power-hungry politicians? Let's hope. Across the country, from political leaders to small business owners to parents who just want to take their children to the frickin' park, resistance is growing to the authoritarians who have, have effectively suspended the Constitution. Oh, that Constitution's been suspended for a long time. And placed most of the country under house arrest. Lawsuits are also challenging unlawful stay-at-home orders, what if all of the hysteria-driven orders have actually made the virus outbreak even worse? More scientists are coming forward to argue for the Sweden model of moderation rather than lockdown. In Dr. Paul's latest Liberty Report, he says the frustration is very positive. So, um, yeah. It says Americans are losing patience with their enslavement. And and I I, I, I yeah I, yeah I have to I, agree. Know, this is ridiculous. It's it's paranoia. I, I'm I'm hoping this is right. I, I'm, Total paranoia. It's like come on, people. Germs have been around forever. Viruses have been around forever too. You know, you, you guys gotta chillax here. You guys gotta think. Absolutely. Think about what they're doing here. What what are they doing? Absolutely. What are they doing? They're shutting everything down. We got playgrounds with red fucking crime tape around them, or that's not crime tape, but it looks the same thing as crime tape. Same playground, you know, the playground's closed. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Come on now. Come on. How long have people been going to sporting events together? Well, other viruses have been in in play. Well, you get, you get the flu. Plus every, the, life. You know, there's there's plus fucking life. We have immune systems. <laughs> And if you don't have a good one, I'm sorry. 
you know. But you can do things to build up your immune system. It's like we've been going to public events and gathering while viruses existed in the world and the flu and all this other illnesses. Right. So why is this one different? They're using it as an excuse, people. Come on. Yes, they are. Do I doubt people are dying? No. But they're right now, they're classifying all deaths as corona-related. Yes, they are. They're classifying all deaths as corona-related because it's taking place during a pandemic. Well, they're, they're classifying all illnesses as corona. As corona-related. No, as, as corona, because if they yes. say this is a corona patient... They get a pile of money. If they right. then if they then take that corona patient and they put them on a ventilator, right. uh, th- then they get a whole bunch more money. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. They don't want us to be in a big group at all in any way, shape, or form, even at a baseball game. They don't want that many of us in one spot at one time. They do not. They don't want you no, even talking to each other. They are afraid of that. They are afraid of us being in large groups. That's why they've canceled all of this fucking sporting events and shit. Thanks because for coming. The stadium holds 30,000 people. Thanks, thanks for coming in, JJ. Appreciate you being here. You know? Yeah. And they don't want that many people gathered in one spot because they would be out fucking numbered hardcore. Oh, When big it comes time. to the local police force there, whatever town it's in. Right. You got 30,000 motherfuckers. Against their 5,000 fucking goddamn police force? Yeah. Guess what? They're all fucking numbered. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Uh, it's, it's, you, remember, you remember the video that Larkin Rose, the tiny dot? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. They, they are the tiny They are the tiny dot. We are the mass. They mass. are. We, <laughs> you want me to think otherwise. They're fucking going to show you their military might. They got all these tanks. They got all this shit. They got this. They got that. Blah, blah, yep. blah, 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 blah. Guess what? They're still outnumbered. Oh, yeah. I've been saying this for 11 goddamn years. I said this on the first day we did this goddamn show. Yeah. The first show I said that. Sure. Okay? I yeah. did. I know. They are fucking outnumbered, and they want us to be afraid of them. Exactly. But they're outnumbered. Don't forget that. Right. Well, it's going to take a mass uprising uh, for any, anything Maybe to be different. Time. Maybe this will happen now. Finally. Maybe some people will grow some balls and learn some shit and wake the fuck up and see, oh, my God, they're tanking the economy. Yep. Some of these jobs that have been lost, they're not coming back, people. people Exactly. They want us to all be complacent and sitting in our living rooms doing live music shows and playing video games because the FDA recommended that. (laughs) And uh, watching porn because in Italy... Uh, they gave you free porn, even. Yeah, oh yeah, premium porn. Come on, <laughs> you know they want you to be fucking complacent as fuck. They do. And that's what everyone's doing right now. And, and as uh, Java Doctor points out here, the gun purchases have them shook up. And yep. As part of that, part of that, uh, here we have something from SecondAmendmentDaily.com. Um, Alabama gun store opens drive-through. To accommodate social distancing rules. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Good old American ingenuity is popping up left and right as this corona catastrophe is going on. And never was there a better example than Larry's Pistol and Pawn in Huntsville, Alabama. Oop, what did I click there? I clicked something stupid and it took me somewhere. Oh, <laughs> Larry's Pistol and Pawn in Huntsville, Alabama. They recently turned their retail gun store into a drive through only business. drive through guns. Come All on right. by. Get, get, a, get a burger, fries, and a 45. Oh, yeah. And another thing. <laughs> don't be falling for this, this, these, these statements that they say. And that people are saying all on Facebook and shit. We'll get through this together when, when, it, when things go back to normal. Yeah. Wake up, people. This is the new normal, okay? That's another meme or another phrase that's come out of this. But guess what? People are talking about, like, that there's going to be, we're going to go back to how it was. Yeah. This is going to be over. We'll get through this. Right. Think again. 
You guys are being complacent as fuck, okay? Yes, you are. Very. I mean, me too. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Well, what can anybody do? Well, I mean, as, as, oh. an, as an individual, there's not a whole lot we can do. As an individual, right. Right. You can speak out about it. You can talk like I'm talking right now on this show. But the only way is to remember they're outnumbered. And if people get pissed off enough, they can be overtaken. Right. You know, people are going to die on both sides. Don't get me wrong. It ain't going to be fucking pretty. No. It's not going to be like a goddamn Hollywood movie. No. It's going to be real, but it has to happen. That's the only way it'll happen. Otherwise, these motherfuckers are going to get what they want. Yes. So they're doing a damn good job of it. From the looks of things right now. Yeah. And people are being complacent and talking about it. Because they're falling for the goddamn words. They're falling for the lies. It'll get better. We're going to get past this. We're going to, you know what I mean? Trump's even said that. Sure. As soon as this is over, our economy is just going to bounce right back. That is a fucking lie. That is a blatant lie right in your goddamn face. No, all these businesses are going bankrupt. So, I mean, it's a, that, nothing, yeah. nothing He's bouncing anywhere. Does that. Yeah. It might bounce back for some companies. Oh, no, no, he's talking about... He's little he, fucking mom and pop. He, no, don't well, even talk to me right now. Don't even talk to me right now. What, what he means is Wall Street. Wall Street. That's I'm what not he, keeping it down right now. What's that? I'm talking to my son, Zach. I'm not keeping it. He's like, keep it down. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's what they want me to do. Fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. But when Trump says the economy will bounce back, he's talking about Wall Street. That's what he's talking about. He's not yeah, talking about he's, he's not talking about the place you go to work every day. No. But don't you worry. Right. You, you got you got your stimulus check coming along. Your stim are you feeling stimulated? Are you? Oh yeah, I'm stimulated. <laughs> okay, so so this here this here came out today on Yahoo Money. Uh, Corona stimulus checks. TurboTax launches tool to help Americans who do not file tax returns. So for uh, for people that don't make enough money, they're not making hardly any money, they don't have, if you make under whatever it is, ten, fifty, twenty thousand uh, $20,000, you, you don't have to file a tax return. So if you don't file one, then they don't have a way to get you. So TurboTax has come up with a thing that you can file, and they'll get you your money. Of course, uh, there's a little 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 caveat there. They they want your direct deposit information. They want right directly into your account. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah, you no, know, they they have your account information anyway. If you have if you signed up for direct deposit when you file right, taxes, well that that if you signed you up know for your fake information if, if you sign if if you signed up for direct deposit right. Which I never did. Otherwise, you gotta wait three more weeks for a paper check and hope the food banks don't run out of fucking food. Well, now no, you gotta wait until August to get your your stimulus what? check. Um, what? You have to wait until August. To get How are you, your... Okay, so they want you to go work at Walmart then. I I don't know what They're they want. You know, I don't think they give a fuck with you. Uh, applications available at Walmart. I don't think they care what the hell you do. They really <laughs> don't. They, that's true. If you they starve don't. and die, that's your problem, not theirs. Uh, right. Anyway, there's the link. I don't know how many beer making supplies, but I'm sure I know if I can, I can, I'll find somebody that makes goddamn beer. Anyway, there's 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 the link. There's the, <laughs> the, 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 the there's the link to that TurboTax thing. So if anybody um, needs to, uh, you know, do something, and if you want that that free helicopter mm -hmm. wheat money, then then the, the link is in there to the direct to the TurboTax site to the to the free tool that you can use to get your your free helicopter money. So, um, <laughs> Ray. Oh, yeah, well, that's good. Great. What's that? But then that'll run out. <laughs> if, there's, if they stop producing something and there's an influx of buying it, it runs out. And if they're done producing it, that means it's not being produced anymore in a factory, in that factory. Yeah. That means you have to be ingenu become creative and start brewing, making your own wine and brewing your own beer. Right. Shit, 
Hold up a fucking still. I don't care. Do whatever you gotta do to be comfortable in your life. Yeah. Don't rely on the motherfucking government to do it, because they're not gonna do it. They they don't want to. They exist to make your life fucking miserable. Absolutely. So I wouldn't let them win. No reason to. No. They don't deserve to. They've been lying in your ass and your parents' ass and your grandparents' ass and your great grandparents' ass. <laughs> yeah. So on and so forth. Really? Why do they deserve a break? They don't. Right. They've been killing us, poisoning us, wrecking our planet, raping our planet, polluting our planet. And not give me a fuck. So, there you go. Abs- absolutely. <laughs> uh, <a> funny cowboy. <laughs> I was looking at what is it? Oh, they, well, I, I, a little bit of this. Yeah, little, yeah, no uh, kidding. Like li- my my favorite phrase is, "The only way I'm getting their vaccine is yeah. if I, they kill me first. But you know, <laughs> so that would defeat their purpose, though, right? Yeah. But that's the only way I'm getting it. I gotta be dead before they can shoot me out all that or shoot me up with their fucking shit. Seriously. Yeah. And that's been my way of thinking for a long time now. Mine too. So I don't go for no flu shot and all this crap. Nope. None of that. I mean, who's to say that the flu shot gives you, like, the, you know, gives there's something like they add shit in. They can put anything they want to in that goddamn vial. Oh, absolutely. Do you trust them enough to let them shoot that up in you? Really? I you trust, trust them, them not at all. I trust them not at all. Really? Why? But, why would you? Why? Why? Because you you know what? If you do do trust them, uh huh. Do do. If you mm-hmm. trust them, <laughs> you're brainwashed, and they got you. They got you. You're their guinea pig. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, 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 yeah. I gotta, I gotta give you this too. I forgot. Almost You're their forgot. fucking guinea pig. I almost forgot. Oh, oh, now it's unavailable. It was here the other day. Now it's unavailable. Um, okay. <laughs> the uh, um. They got well, you. What, 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 what are they? What are they? they what, by every fucking thing, if, uh, you know. What, what do they call that stuff? Hydro. They got you, dude. What, what, what do they call that stuff? Hydro, hydro, something. It, it's the, the uh, uh, that medicine for, for taking care of malaria. Hydrochloroquine. Yeah, hydrochloroquine. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is not hydrochloroquine, um, and uh, but you can get it. Get the. <laughs> Get the actual stuff right there on Amazon. Uh, they had it available the other day, uh, so maybe it, it may be coming back in stock. I don't know. Maybe they caught on to people were actually buying this and using it. Tonic um, water? Tonic water, yes. Yes, it's premium Indian tonic water with natural quinine. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, the quinine is what they used for malaria. Uh, this, I mean, if something's going to fix you up, um, then, then you could just go out. It was, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 28 bucks for 24 bottles or something like that. Uh, I, I don't recall the exact, uh, uh, amount that it was, but, um, but either, either way, uh, a pretty good deal. Um, I mean, you could, you, you could drink that and, and take care of your, your coronavirus, your Corona nonsense yourself. Um, right. You know, or vinegar. Or well, fucking baking soda. Well, uh, the quinine, I mean, that's what you want. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get that part of it. But also, you know, having a balanced pH and having a good immune immune system and being healthy also helps. Well, certainly. Also vitamin C. Sure, sure. You know, come on. You guys can do your own doctoring. Yes, you can. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Are you, you're, on why? Face, you're on Facebook, right? Yeah. What the hell happened there? <laughs> I pressed something wrong. All right. Um, okay, you're on Facebook. So, apparently, Facebook to award everyone a printable medical degree. 
<laughs> so, so you can be your own doctor. By popular right. name. By, I, by, I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I, needed, I need something to show people, you know. By, by popular demand, Facebook... I am. By, by popular demand, Facebook is awarding everyone a printable medical degree. Medical, medical degrees used to be hard to get, but now all you need to do is comment your medical opinions on Facebook. Then you'll automatically get a message with a link to your very own MD. You can print it out, hang it on your wall. Then when someone asks if you have any qualifications to back up one of your medical statements, you can just point to it and say, you burnt. <laughs> the biggest problem with our platform is many people comment on medical things but have no medical background, said Mark Zuckerberg. Now everyone on Facebook is officially a doctor. Problem solved. People hawking essential oils or Plexus products on the Internet with vague statements about gut health, fitness, and wellness will now have the credentials to back their claims up. You no longer have to worry about your crazy friend who's always posting about Big Pharma and all the all actual medical advice being a hoax, because now he'll be a doctor. Twitter is following suit, and everyone in the nation is expected to be a doctor by tomorrow morning. <laughs> so there you go. Get get your get your get your free medical degree. Uh, <laughs> Facebook or yes. Twitter. Yes, indeed. That's right. You too. Uh, oh, no, that's Babylon B. Sorry, if I, if I confused anybody, Babylon B. <laughs> yeah, <it's> satire. <laughs> oh yeah, Babylon B. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> they're funny though. They are. They are. Okay, we got we got we got to do our stand here. Um, All right, let's do that. <laughs> where we at here, normal? He's turning in everybody in these crazy freaked up. Oh man, I tell you, this is ramping up, people. This is this is now. This is live. Okay, this this was originally at one. Wrap. This Not was th this was originally at one point requested by Flash, but I re-requested it and I found out. Oh, it's already in the list. So uh, oh. here you go. The doors. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, Black Betty. Yes, indeed, Black Betty. Get ready, Black Betty. <laughs> Ram jam there with Black Betty. Uh, before that was uh, a Musco request, Tadeshi Trucks Band, Bring It On Home To Me, had Sharon Jones, had Doyle Bramhall, too. Uh, there was a bunch of other folks in there, too, a lot of, a lot of really good ones. Uh, that were in there, uh, Binky Gripty and uh, uh, just other folks in there. Tim LeFaber on bass and J.J. Johnson on drums. Just a, just a good old time there for y'all. Uh, before that, a um, uh, Hansel, Hansel request, The Rolling Stones, Time Is On My Side. That song, by the way, uh, I, whenever I hear that, I, I'm reminded of the movie Fallen, which uh, if you've never seen Fallen, that's a great movie, Denzel Washington. Um, <laughs> good stuff. Anyway, we kicked it off there with a flash somebody request. Riders on the storm, the alternate version. So uh, yeah. Yes. So anyway, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up. I think we've uh, given you enough yep. Corona for one night. Y'all get the Corona tonight. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Well, um, the dork tables tomorrow at two p.m. Eastern. Uh, so hopefully Flash will get a co-hostage on there with him with that. That'd be cool. Um, I'll be on Monday, uh, Sunday morning as normal. Blues at uh, noon Eastern. And followed up by Hal and Three Behind the Woodshed opening up the big old can of whoop-ass. I do have to do one thing quick. Okay. I want to recommend the movie to everybody. All right. So there might be some people out there that have not seen this. All right. Falling Down. From 1993 with Michael Douglas. Oh, yeah, that's a good film. Yeah, I would recommend checking that out. He's pissed. It's a good movie. He got <laughs> he got pissed off on that movie, he boy. He got pissed off. <laughs> I'm just putting it that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, Falling Down. Yep. Uh, falling Down and Fallen. Check them out. Um, yes. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Like I said, check the yep. schedule on Real Liberty Media for all the shows throughout the week. And um, just stay tuned with us over here. You know, it's uh, we, we got a lot of good information coming out of, out of here. So, 
Um, yeah. Uh, just uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Thanks, and, everyone. Uh, everybody have a good weekend and uh, stay Thanks. away. Stay away from people. That's your best <laughs> bet. Stay away from people. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Peace.